In this video, I am going to discuss one of the most important questions regarding helium mining, which is how to place your helium hotspots for maximum earning. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Eigentech. Alright, there are a few points to consider to improve the performance of your helium hotspot. The first one is hotspot placement. So the physical location at which you will place your helium miner. The second one is view of antenna, which will determine the coverage your hotspot is going to provide. The third one is also connected to the coverage, which is appropriate antenna type. Basically, what kind of gain you should have depending on your location. And finally, cable consideration. So the cable that connects your hotspot with the antenna. Among these points, by far the most important uh, point to consider is the hotspot placement. So in this video we will focus on this topic and another video I will discuss the rest of these points. So in that I will focus on uh, two parts. The first part is how you should place your hotspots if you are going to create a new coverage. That means let's say in your area there are no other hotspots and then what should be the ideal hotspot locations. And the second one is uh, if you have already some hotspots present in your area, then how should you place your hotspot to provide some additional coverage. So I am planning to provide some theoretical background and discuss some basic concepts. But if you are simply interested in how to place your hotspots, you can jump to the time shown on the screen. Okay, so before discussing about the perfect placement, let us quickly learn how a helium miner earns HNT. So the majority of the earning comes from participation in the proof of coverage challenge. A proof of coverage is a method to prove the location of one hotspot where it claims to be. So let us consider a bunch of hotspots represented by these dots. And let's say this is your hotspot. To prove its location, it sends an RF signal which is called a beacon. So a beacon signal contains a message which says something like hello I am hotspot number 101. So then this signal is received by other hotspots in its neighborhood and if they can validate that this signal has come from hotspot 101 it will, call, it will be called a valid witness. And to perform this kind of activities um, your hotspot and other hotspots will receive uh, some HNT as a reward. So your hotspot uh, earns HNT because of sending the beacon signal and other hotspots because of witnessing that signal. Uh, note that there could be other hotspots which either did not receive that signal or um, which could not validate the signal uh, giving rise to an invalid witness. Similarly, if your hotspot acts as a witness for other beacon signals from other hotspots, you will also earn HNT. So basically the point is the more witnesses you have, the more HNTs you will earn. So the goal is to maximize the number of witness. There is also another point which is called the reward scale and you'd like to keep the reward scale as close as one so that the earning is maximized. So um, now we'll consider what should be the ideal placement of your helium hotspots. For that we'll first consider the case where there are no hotspots in your area. So the goal is to provide a perfect coverage uh, of helium network in this area. For that what helium does it divides this area in a, into a bunch of uh, symmetric hexagons as shown here. So you can think that uh, your helium hotspot is like a cell phone tower which provides coverage to one of these hexagons. So what would be the ideal scenario? Basically if you can place um, one hotspot at the center of each of these hex hexagons that will provide perfect coverage. If you consider resolution 8 uh, hexagons then the center to center distance uh, between any two neighboring hexagons will be 800 meter. Now if you connect these dots, um, you will get this triangular pattern. Uh, so let's get rid of the hexagons. So basically this is what the ideal hotspot placement will be. Uh, basically uh, you have to place them in a triangular shape where uh, each arm of the triangular is 800, triangle is 800 meter which means the distance between any neighboring hotspot is 800 meter. Why is it this important? Because if you can do so, your reward, uh, reward scale of each of the hotspots will be very close to 1. Uh, and again, uh, in terms of uh, witnesses, any hotspot will have about uh, 6, will have 6 neighbors, so that is also good. Now, of course, uh, in a real situation, you, will, you cannot make such a perfect placement, but even then, uh, 
you can you should what you should focus on that you should you'd like to have only one hotspot in each of these hexagons and so that the reward scale is still close to one but now the question is can you place two or more hotspots in one hexagon of course you can but uh, like this there are in this in some of the hotspot uh, hexagons there are two hotspots but what will happen that if you do that uh, your reward scale for these hotspots will go down most likely uh, it will become close to 0.5 and not only that, uh, the other neighboring uh, hexagons where there are only one hotspot because it has two neighbors where there are two hotspots, their reward scale will also go down. This is the first point. The second point is if two hotspots become very close to each other, let's say within 300 meter, they will not be able to also witness each other because they are too close to each other. So, they, so the, there are two drawbacks. First. Uh, their reward scale went down and second they will not be able to witness each other so it's a loss so that's that is why you'd like to uh, place only one hotspot in one of these hexagons so this 300 meter is not an exact number it actually depends on a few other factors which is called rssi and snr it's received signal strength indicator and uh, signal to noise ratio these are technical terms we will not go into the details but what i have observed that uh, even if the separation is 350 meter, you often you get uh, invalid witnesses. So I would suggest to keep the separation at least larger than 350 meter or you, it will be even better if you can keep them 400, larger than 400 meter apart. So at this point, we will quickly take a look at the helium.place site. So if you go to your browser and type helium.place, you will see this. So let's zoom into any of the area and just click on one of the location so just click anywhere and it will show you this uh, red zone and green zone so the red zone means that you should not place any another helium miner in this area if you do so uh, they will not be able to witness each other so the witnesses will be invalidated and your reward scale will go down so the green zone is a good zone where you can place your uh, another helium hotspot but the green zone means it's that your um, witness will be validated but or there is a high chance that your witness will be validated but it doesn't mean that the, your, your reward scale will stay the same so if you want to check uh, uh, the uh, hexagons you can click on this raise 8 here and you can will you will be able to see the hexagons around it um, so basically if you select at one of the centers you will see that what it means uh, is that roughly it provides a coverage uh, to the nearest six hexagons at this point you can say okay Roy, i understand all the theory and stuff but how do i really place my hotspots if i have a bunch of helium hotspots how do i place them how do i measure the distance between two points on the map and stuff so uh, we'll discuss that now uh, so i found that the uh, the best way to measure distances between two points on the map is to use google earth so you can type earth.google.com uh, it takes a little bit of time to load so i'll uh, i have already loaded that in a different tab here i have selected a uh, basically a random location so of course uh, you'd like let's say you don't have any other hotspots in your area so you'd love you'd like to start from your home or your office location so let's choose that point let's say this is my home and then you want to place your next uh, hotspot anywhere uh, but roughly 800 meter apart from the first one but make sure that there is no major obstruction between these two plates, uh, places so that the signals cannot uh, travel from each other okay so i roughly select the second the second point around uh, roughly around 800 meter then the question is where should be the third point where should be the third hotspot you should not place it in a straight line remember i just told you that you should make a triangular shape so it could be either up here or down here so we'll select a location either up so it should be again 800 meter apart from both of the uh, points so uh, i should be roughly here so the sum will be 1600 meters so if i select this point and then i can come back here to close this triangle now you can see that um, the triangle perimeter is 2400 meter which means roughly each of the arm is 800 meter uh, you can zoom in and adjust the locations if you want you can um, adjust them however you want now if you have if you have already decided this place where should the fourth one be right to fourth one could be 
in any side again but you should uh, try to make a triangle out of it uh, such that the arm is 800 so i cannot actually add a third place uh, in this um, google earth so what i'll do i'll take a i'll take a screenshot and show you where it could be the third point uh, so the third point now let me get the pin here red pin so the th third point could be somewhere here or here or even somewhere here but it should be such that that the distance in these points is between the points is 800 meter so these are your options for perfect placement now of course you can think that okay uh, what about if there are already some other hotspot let's say these two are uh, the hot two hotspots which are already existing in your area so again the third hotspot should be placed here or here so I know it might not be convenient for you because that doesn't match with your uh, home or any of your relatives home but if you place them too close to each other as I discussed it's not beneficial for you or already for the owners of the those hotspots which are already there because your reward scale will go down and your witnesses might become invalid so it is best if you then in that case if you uh, host somebody and uh, share some percentage of your earnings it's beneficial for everyone so the goal is to provide a larger coverage so you should not uh, try to put too many hotspots in a very close vicinity so google earth will be a good place if you don't have any other helium hotspot in your area but if you have already some, you want to decide a good place uh, to place your hotspot. Uh, maybe helium.place is a better place to check that. So if you just go to helium.place, uh, let us uh, just move to some city, let's say in the Chicago area. And you can see there are so many hotspots here and most of them are red, which means the, uh, the reward scale is 0.1 and 0.2 and like that. So it, there, there is no really not much benefit to place a new hotspot in this area if you purchase any one you should rather find a host and place it in a nice location so let's move away from the city and go to some suburban location so this one looks like a good location so you can see there are a few hotspots which are blue which means that your scale is one so if you can place one hotspot somewhere here um, you can see that uh, let's say here you can see that it can almost reach these other hotspots which are have a reward scale of one so most likely your and in your hex there is no other helium hotspot so your reward scale is most likely going to be also one and you should earn a good HNTs from the witnesses of these hotspots around it okay so this will be of course a good location and uh, that could be somewhere uh, here in this hex again you have three neighboring hexes where there are only one hotspot so the key takeaways of this video is that if you are trying to make a new coverage you should try to place your helium hotspots in a triangular configuration such that the distance between any two hotspots is about 800 meter uh, there is no hard rule that it has to be 800 if it could be 700 or 900 but uh, you should try to be uh, as close as possible with a triangular structure this will ensure that the that your reward scale is very close to one which will again maximize your HNT earnings if you already have some other hotspots in your area then try to place your hotspot in such that there is no other hotspot within 300 meter or within the red hexagon shown on the helium dot place and you have more hotspots in the green zone and outside of course i have not considered many other factors this video was mostly about helium hotspot placement to achieve a reward scale of 1 which will improve your HNT earnings. The other considerations would be the height of your antenna, what kind of gain it has, the view from that location and the topography of your local aid. But a general rule of thumb is that the higher the location of the antenna the better it will perform. Uh, if you can place your antenna 20 feet above your roof and the surrounding roofs it will perform very well. Also, the, most of the stock antennas that come with the hotspots, uh, which are 1 to 4 dBi in gain, will perform pretty well in cities and urban areas. For suburban areas where there are not many uh, uh, high rise buildings, you can have, use a little more gain, uh, for example, in between 4 to 8 dBi. And for rural areas, uh, which is basically kind of flat, uh, you, can use even, uh, you can use even higher gain antennas. Two more points. 
We already discussed about the minimum distance between two hot spots which should not be less than 300 meter. Preferably the distance should be more than 350 or 400 meter. But what about the maximum distance? Uh, well there is no direct answer to that because it depends on how far the signal of your hotspot can go and that depends on the height of your uh, antenna, the gain of your antenna and what locality your antenna is placed at. Um, usually in city areas if you are using stock antennas uh, are not like uh, in a very high rise building the coverage will be probably within a kilometer or so. Uh, if you are in a urban to suburban area, the range might be a few kilometers and in rural areas, it might be uh, tens of kilometers. So um, it really depends on the location and uh, the locality. So I would say if you want two hotspots to witness each other, you should not place them more than a few kilometers. And um, finally, the comment about how much HNT these can earn, if you can place them in such a nice configuration and uh, with almost close to ideal con configuration, uh, the earnings could be anywhere between 100 to 200 HNTs per month uh, with the current rate. Uh, that what I mean by that is before the August halving. Hope this information was useful to you. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.